Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to test out the new Binance DEX or Decentralized Exchange testnet version using your Ledger Nano S as your own private wallet. So let's get going. So Binance, which is one of the biggest centralized cryptocurrency exchanges, has now started working on a new decentralized exchange where you will control your own wallet while you do your trading. And they've released a testnet version of this. And so I'd like to show you how you can go ahead and connect to it and try it out using your Ledger Nano S as your wallet to hold your private keys. So uh, let's get started. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm on this page here that explains uh, the process, and I'll put a link to this in the description. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna go right through it with you. So the article tells us that we can use our ledger with the Binance DEX, and the first thing we'll need to do is enable developer mode. So let's go ahead and launch our ledger live. All right, and once we've got ourselves logged in, we'll just go up here to the gear shift icon and we'll just pull that down and we're gonna stay in general settings. So make sure you're on the general settings tab and we'll just scroll down here to the bottom where it says developer mode. And we'll just go ahead and enable that. So once we've enabled developer mode, then we'll have access to the Binance Chain app in our ledger manager. So let's go over there. All right, so in order to enter the Ledger Manager, we're going to need to connect our Ledger to our computer and enter our PIN. Okay, and so you'll notice after I enter my PIN that it's going to check my device and it's going to give me a confirmation. So we're gonna to wanna to hit the button right above the check. All right, so now that we've entered the Ledger Manager, we can search for the Binance app all right, and there it is, Binance Chain. So remember, this won't show up if you haven't enabled developer mode. So that's why we needed to get that done in the beginning. So now that I've got the Binance Chain, I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. All right, and if you get a not enough storage left uh, error message, you're gonna need to take an app or two off of your Ledger Nano S. So we'll just close this out. Let's go back to the uh, top interface. I'm going to go ahead and take off my Ethereum app by hitting this uh, garbage can and it's going to delete the Ethereum app off of the device. So if you'll notice here, I've got the Ethereum app on and I'm just going to uninstall it from my device. All right, and you'll notice the Ethereum app is now off my Ledger device. Uh, do not worry, this is not going to remove any of the private keys that are stored on your Ledger Nano device, which will control your Ethereum wallets. This simply removes the app uh, from the device. You can always put it back on again later, so there's no problem with removing uh, and adding apps. All right, so now that we've uh, made a little room, let's go back to Binance, and we'll hit Install again. So when you're installing an app, you should notice the processing here on the device and the progress bar on your screen. And now you can see that I've successfully installed the Binance Chain app. Now we need to go to the uh, Binance DEX website. So I'm just gonna get rid of Ledger Live. I don't need it anymore. I've got the app that I need. And uh, so let's follow the instructions here. We can uh, follow this link, which I'll also provide in the description. All right, and here we are on the Decentralized Exchange. All right, and uh, so I took a link uh, that's gonna get me some of their test tokens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself logged in. I'll enter my two-factor authentication. All right, and since I follow that link, it took me right to this, uh, which is how we get started using the DEX. All right, so uh, we'll go through the steps to create the wallet. 
and then I'll show you how to get that test BNB. We're going to need to buy at least one Binance coin, which uh, is not that much. And uh, it won't even be used up when we do this test. So uh, I'll open this link here. All right, we'll just uh, go through this uh, step by step process. I encourage you to read these responsibilities. You want to manage your own wallet. Uh, there are several ways to create a wallet. We've got the key store password method, which is a file on your computer and then a password that you'll need to remember. Uh, or you can use a 24 word mnemonic phrase as your user ID. Uh, or you can also use a private key, which is another way to represent that uh, mnemonic phrase. All right, we're not going to go through any of that. We can just use unlock existing wallet because when we installed that Binance chain app on our Ledger Nano S, we created a private key which resides on the Ledger Nano S. So we don't need to go through any of this. We can just say unlock existing wallet, All right? And then we're going to go over here to Ledger Device, and it tells us to enter our PIN code and open up the Binance Chain app. So I've already got the PIN code entered. So I'm just going to go over here uh, to the Binance Chain app, and I'm going to hit both buttons. All right. And then once I get in there, I'm just going to connect. All right, and there we go. I'm on the exchange now. So I'd like to get a little bit of test BNB. You can see down here that I have zero BNB. So I want a little bit of their test BNB. So let's go back over here. All right, we've unlocked the wallet and we're ready to go, but we need to buy a little bit of BNB. So I'm gonna go over here to funds. Right, and I'm just gonna go to BNB. All right, and there's many ways to buy BNB. Uh, you can use Bitcoin, Ethereum, PAX, uh, US dollar coin, uh, Tether. There's several ways to do this. Okay, we can see that Binance coin is only $10 uh, and we only need one. So uh, pretty easy. We'll just uh, fund our account with a little bit of crypto and we'll uh, trade for some Binance coin. All right, so I just purchased a little bit of uh, Litecoin on Coinbase and I'm transferring it into my Binance account to fund this uh, small purchase. <clears throat> Remember, I'm only doing this to enable the trading. See, I'm not gonna lose any of this money. Uh, I'm putting it into a little bit of Binance coin in order to enable the uh, test Binance coin. I'm not actually gonna be trading any real coin today. I'm just gonna try out the decentralized exchange. And in order to do that, I need to hold a little bit of Binance coin, but only to hold. I'm not gonna be spending any of it. It's just there as a placeholder. All right, so uh, I dropped a little bit of Litecoin in my account. So I need to go back over here to funds. First thing I'll do is sell that Litecoin for Bitcoin because I can't sell uh, I can't use Litecoin to buy uh, Binance coin directly. So uh, we'll just go over here to, oh, actually I can. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and trade my Litecoin for Binance coin. All right, that's pretty straightforward. I just want to go down here to sell Litecoin. I'm going to do a market order so it uh, gets uh, done quickly. I'm going to do 100%. All right, so I'm going to sell all this Litecoin that I just transferred in for a uh, Binance coin. So I'll just hit sell Litecoin. All right, and then I can go back up here to funds and just double check. And as you can see, I've got uh, over one Binance coin. Now I have two Binance coin. So I have enough in the account to uh, uh, qualify for some uh, test Binance coin. So all I need to do now is go back over to the exchange I waited a few minutes, so I'm going to re-enter my PIN here. All right, I'm back in the Binance uh, Chain app. So uh, let's go over to my address. There's my address. 
that's the uh, address of the Binance wallet, right? So I'll just hit copy here. All right, and now I just need to go back over here and there I'm already logged into my account. So you can see here that I've logged into the account so they know it's me and I'm gonna put in that address right there. I'll just paste that in there. All right, that's the address of my uh, Binance Chain wallet uh, that is uh, the private key is held here on my ledger. So I'm gonna hit submit and they're gonna send some test funds into this wallet in a couple of minutes. So uh, we'll wait and see how that goes. <laughs> Let's go back over here to the decentralized exchange. And uh, you can see down here that I have zero BNB. So, but let's see what happens here. Oh, and there we go. You can see down here in the corner that I have some 200 test BNB. And uh, I noticed that uh, I'm sort of in the way. So I'm going to move myself up a bit, right, to get myself out of the way here. And so down here we can see that uh, I've got 200 uh, test BNB. So let's make a trade and see what happens. So let's say uh, that I want to buy a little uh, Dash. All right, so I'm just going to click on Dash up here. And then we can see here that we're uh, sell dash or buy dash, right? So I'll do a little buy dash. Uh, I'm gonna hit 50% here, all right? So it's gonna give me a total of 12 dash uh, for 100 BNB, 50% uh, of my total, all right? And I'm set at limit order. Uh, let's see if there's any way, I don't believe there's any way to do market on this. All right. All right. So let's see here. I'll hit best ask. All right. All right. And then I'm just going to hit buy and see what happens. All right. And so now we need to sign the transaction. So uh, you'll notice here that uh, on the ledger, it comes up like this. All right. So uh, what I want to do is sign my transaction. So I'm going to hit both buttons, right? And uh, when I hit both buttons, you'll notice that the trade went through. And it uh, looks like I got, uh, oh, it's uh, sort of uh, getting filled in pieces. We can go over here to orders and just check it out. And you can see that there is an open order here uh, for a buy. And that I should get, uh, it looks like it's 98.28% filled, which uh, I can deal with that. And then we can go back to the exchange here. And then uh, why don't we just check balances, see where we are. And you remember, this is the test net. It doesn't say TBNB, right? But we have to remember uh, while we're doing this that we're not actually making real trades. Uh, we're just using test BNB. Uh, we're still in the test net phase, right? Uh, but it looks like the order is just about filled, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, let's try a little ADA, okay? So I can click up here on ADA, and then uh, you can see that I've got a little bit of BNB left. Took a little more than 50% of what I had, but whatever. <laughs> Not gonna sweat it really uh, I'm gonna hit uh, 100 percent this time and uh, so that's the amount of ADA that I'm going to get for my 90 BNB I'll hit best ask to make sure I have a pretty uh, decent price that the order will go through uh, I'm not gonna go into all the niceties of uh, how we trade I'm just sort of demoing uh, how to get started here, I'll hit buy ADA again, and it wants me to sign. So uh, we just go up here to the device and hit uh, both buttons to sign. The All right, and then you can see up here that the uh, limit order was created. And we can go over here to open orders and see that there is a limit order to buy this ADA for uh, the remainder of the BNB coin that I have. All right. 
And once this test net is active, I'm sure I'll be able to uh, withdraw some of these coins uh, to a different wallet. Uh, it doesn't look like they have that functionality yet. Of course, they're not going to let me come in here and uh, buy ADA and Dash and then transfer it into my own wallet uh, because we're just, just playing around with the interface today. All right, so I think that's enough to get you guys started. So I showed you how to uh, install the Binance Chain app on your Ledger Nano S, which allowed you to access a wallet and log into the uh, decentralized exchange on the test net. And then I showed you how to fund your Binance account with a little bit of BNB that would uh, sort of be the primer for them to let you uh, use some test BNB. Uh, you'll you see when I put that address in there uh, on the interface that they were able to send me some test BNB. They sent me about 200 and I was able to make a few uh, test trades. So pretty cool. I can't wait for it to go full on uh, live so that we can actually make some real trades. So, uh, but this will be a good way to get yourself started. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. Uh, come in, uh, throw out some questions, and I'll see if I can get them answered on the fly, or just join in the discussion and have some fun. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.